Okay, hello again. This is Nick back on the Get Me Upgrade video blog. Um, quick epilogue tonight. Just uh, a bit, a quick something on skill development. I've been out again and I've come back. Try and get yourself one of these. I don't know if you can quite see it in this light. Uh, essentially, it's just a key ring torch that so goes on your on your keys, and it's got a little LED light inside it, quite bright. Okay. This is good for you to find your way, and before you leave the house, even though the sun's up, you think you might have a chance of coming back late at night, work out, you know, where you're putting this torch, you know, or whichever one you're going to use to help you to get your night set up. Because you're going to want to light the oil lamp, but you're going to want to have a brighter, more reliable torch to use than just your little keyring one uh, when you're lighting your oil lamp. That's just the only real thing I'd say today. Everything else today has gone quite swimmingly. No real major challenges. It's just the same stuff. You know, once you've got into a routine, you worked out which particular technology you want to use and can use for your off-grid life, you can just do it. Okay, you just get yourself into a pattern and fulfill, you know, what you need. I've got a wash load to do tomorrow. Uh, if you do it, you know, the more frequently you do it, the less you've got to do, so you don't have to worry too much or, to, you know, panic about, oh my god, you know, it's all like mounting up like crazy. You know, it's not mounting up like crazy. You can get it done in a structured way, and then you're basically all right. So it's very few items to do, because I'm doing a little all the time, and it's it's okay. Still thinking very big about retention cooking. I mean, I, I've mentioned that before, but... That was quite early in the video blog, but during this one particular week, what well, I'm doing off grid, uh, heat retention cooking has been probably the best thing that I could have ever discovered or could have ever experimented with. Uh, so more and more people need to do that. And if you think about the fuel poverty figures in this country, okay, Britain, then that's a serious thing. If if more people learnt heat retention cooking, that would be great. Now what about all those people who are like currently on grid? Surely you want to have some kind of control when you're doing heat retention cooking as far as how much fuel is used so that you can then turn it off and only use up a fixed quantity. Just like when I'm, when I'm using the, uh, the gas hob, the camping gas hob. Light the gas, the flame's going, the moment the rice has reached boiling temperature, turn the gas right off. Only a fixed control quantity of energy is being used. Now, if you were using um, an electric hob, you would probably want to use a induction hob because an induction hob provides you with more or less the controllability and power of gas. Only works with ferrous or steel or iron pans, but it would it would essentially provide the same benefit and probably or, or possibly even more more efficiently. Okay. So that's uh, something else to bear in mind if you wanted to use heat retention, but to stay on the electric grid and just just use heat retention cooking to cut the, um, cut the whole lot down. Something to Google for, wonder bags. No, that's not an erotic reference, okay? Wonder bags are a form of heat retention cooking, which is essentially a big insulated bag. And you heat everything in your pot, and you put it into the Wonder Bag, put its um, insulating lid on, pull the drawstrings, and then you just like leave it for a while. And that's how that's how you do it. And if you apparently if you buy one, then um, a third world family somewhere will be given one. That's the deal which they're doing. So maybe it'll be worthwhile for me and for everybody else out there to start thinking about accumulating more and more in the way of heat retention cooking technology. Especially if you're someone who is suffering from fuel poverty or might suffer from fuel poverty because maybe you're sick, you're getting old, or you know you just need to control your expenditure on heating. So an induction hob and heat retention cooking, those would be my tips or and or recommendations for tonight. As well as, of course, making sure you've got a little light on your keyring.